Pastor Jose slash Dad, how are you? I'm doing great. Excited and really excited about this one because this is a real tough one to talk about and discuss. Oh, well, as I know, you're never afraid to talk about tough topics. So, no, no. And that's part of this whole vlog series. So, this is our next one. And we're trying something a little different. We have a little fun background here. So we'll see up. Yes, I, I like the background. I like it. <laughs> Maybe a little more relaxed as we talk about tough things. And sure. our topic today is credit scores. Oh, boy. Dun, 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 dun. So uh, I know I, during this pandemic, I did a refinance and, and you know, they were looking at my credit scores. Oh, my goodness. So um I'm going to read for you something according to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB. They say a credit score predicts how likely you are to pay back a loan on time. A scoring model uses information from your credit report to create a credit score. So, Pastor Jose, can you offer any insights about this whole credit score thing? Well, I think that's an excellent statement. It really has a lot of a lot of value in it because it is true. If you look at the, your credit scores, if you have a score of 200, let's say 200, okay, which is pretty, pretty shot. Uh, and you find a lot of college young people run from 200 to 300 because they've started buying and they didn't look at the scenario. And then now they graduate and think, oh my goodness, they're going to run into a problem. When the scores are that low, or the scores, the lower the score is, the high interest you're going to pay on a loan that you make out. So you don't have to be a rocket scientist. You want the, you want the interest to, on that loan, if you decide to take a loan, to be close to 1% or 2%, then you need to have an appropriate spend plan or a budget in place that has kept you to a place where you can maintain that. What usually happens is that uh, I've been doing seminars for 18 years. Mm -hmm. And that's probably the second most asked questions between giving and credit scores. And it's a, it's a, to me, it's almost come to a point uh, that people just are not paying attention. They just focus on the credit scores. And so why? Because the world tells them focus on credit scores. People talk about credit scores. So credit scores really reflect on your level of stewardship. Okay. So if you have let's say a score of 500, which is a lot of people have that score. It means that your spending habits have been spending and you have never decided to be disciplined in establishing a plan to get your numbers higher or you never decide to develop a plan where you pay off what you owe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So example, uh, I do ministry. I fly to New York, wherever I fly to. I do a rental cars. I use the credit card, right? But that credit card has enough on it that I already know in my regular checking account, there's money to cover that. Right. So credit scores uh, really reflect your stewardship. So I'm going to point, if I use the credit card, I'm going to pay it off so I don't pay any interest. They're looking for that. Yeah. So that's how that, what you just mentioned, becomes a reality. So if I want to uh, refinance or whatever I want to do, they're going to look to see what is his track record. And I'm going to give you a world example. Okay. The biggest world example is go to a, go, go to a racetrack. Okay. <laughs> and a racetrack, you see the odds are two to one. Why? Because that horse has won maybe seven out of the last 10 races. Sure. But then you see that the 12th horse is 100 to one. And here's what they're calling the in, the in the racing world. That's a dog. And if it made by dogs, he'll never catch up to the horse. Right. So of course, some people still figure, okay, if I if I take a chance and I put five hours on the hundred to one, I'm gonna make a lot of money. The trouble, unfortunately, is that they start with five and then they go to 100 and 200 and lose their shirt and lose everything else. So the rule of thumb is if you can't pay for it, don't get it. Wow. So if you use that rule of thumb, is that that will help your credit score go up. Now, in the Christian community, when I first started 18 years ago, I would tell people, how's your credit with God? 
Okay, so we're talking to a, a secular community. Everybody, I think, believes in a God. So if you believe in a God, how do you honor him? And the way you honor him is by keeping your scores at a place that reflect good spending habits, a good reflection of your life, and it'll help you tremendously. Yeah. Credit scores, people use them, they spend all the time, but they never figure out, how do I get there? Right, right. And the way you get there basically is you, 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 you spend, you pay within the 30 days that you have. Right, so it's a tool to make transactions, but that's it. You it's just a tool. Pay it off, and and you know you can earn points, which can you know give you free nights at hotels or things like that. But Correct. It's a tool, not a not a crutch it's when you don't have right. It. Yeah, okay. And so I use. See, God tells us that we're in the world, but don't be like the world. It'd be as shrewd as the world. Mm. And I'm being shrewd by using that credit card, paying it off on time, pushes my credit scores up, 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 up. And if I ever have to use credit scores for a loan, I know they, they're not going to say no to me. Why? Because my credit score shows for the last 30, 40 years, everything's been paid on time. Right, right. So you're either your worst enemy or your best friend is by being in pain and on time. Yeah. Well, very good. Well, I think as we've heard today, it's sort of a tool of our modern society, but make credit scores work for you, not the other way around. Is that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you, Pastor Jose. Can you close this in prayer today? Sure. Father, we do thank you for this time here. I thank you for my son's willingness, Lord God, to help me with this. But Lord God, it's God who's working it through him, through him and through me to present these uh, presentations, Lord God, a place that people can see and they can hear from my heart. I've been through it. And so I've been to all the places that everybody has been, but you have allowed me to get to a place where I can say I am debt free. Debt free means I owe no man. And so I can do more to help others because I do not owe. I thank you, Father, for this evening, and I thank you for what you're going to do for each person who's listening. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Until next time. Take care, guys. See you next time. I like the background. Nice. <laughs> next Bye -bye. time, we'll have coffee. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay. <laughs>